so I, I'll do my best to be on in 15 minutes. All right, so we're going to start standing. Come to the front of the mat. Right, standing nice and tall. I'm facing the side here, which is wonderful. It's a little bit too hot for my liking, but yeah, I'm in Dakota. I, I deal with it. Right, arms along by the side. Make sure your feet are in a parallel position. Your toes are pointing front forward. Standing nice and tall. Take an inhalation here. As you exhale, let's do some roll downs. We're going to tip the head down and we're going to roll the neck down the back, the middle back, and soften the knees as you go through the lower spine and tip the pelvis forward and bring your body closer to the floor. Inhale, take a moment here as you exhale, press down on your feet as you lift your center and start stepping up the pelvis, the lumbar spine, the middle back, the upper back, rest the shoulders down, float the neck and grow up even taller. Inhale, you may close your eyes for a moment. And exhale again, nice and easy as you roll the spine down, gradually articulating the spine. Take your body down. This is a little assessment for your body. It's how are you feeling this morning, this evening, this afternoon, wherever you are today. In breath. Exhale. We roll back up again. Nice and easy. Stepping up the spine like you're stepping up Jenga blocks. And grow even taller. And again, last one. Exhale. We roll down. Use your breath. Guide your roll down with your breath. Now this time, as you reach down to the floor, I want you to bend your knees. Sit the pelvis back and take your body up in a diagonal position so you are in that beautiful squat. Marvelous, everybody bend the knees flat back. Then from here, we're going to straighten the leg to your maximum ability and bring the body horizontally, horizontal with the floor. And go ahead and bend the knees again as you go into that squat. And so you are going to set the pelvis back, bring the weight evenly on the pelvis and the hamstrings and the front of the knee. And straighten the legs flat to the back, keeping your body horizontal with the floor. There you go. And again, bend the knees down, just warming up those legs there. Go into that squat again. And exhale, straight to the leg, flatten it up. Now from here, lower your arms down. Maybe you might want to bend the knees a little bit more. Try to keep a nice flat back here. Straighten the right leg, soften the left knee even more. Take your right arm up and rotate your body up. Right arm up to the sky. And bring it down back to the floor. And the other way, straighten your left leg, rotate your spine, and bring the left arm up to the sky. I want you to think about really engaging the back muscle here so we're not rounding the back. And bring the body back to the floor, flat back. Let's do one more time. Straighten your right leg, flat knee bend. Rotate your spine up to the sky. And then exhale, come back down again. One more time, please. And extend the left leg, rotate the spine to the left side and arm to the sky. Beautiful, everybody. And we bring it back down again. And we soften the knees a little bit more. Let's roll the spine up, up to your standing position and grow even taller. Take a deep breath. Exhale, we roll down again. All the way down to the floor. Place your hands down, bend the knees. Go. I want you to go to a deep squat here and transfer your arms behind the pelvis and sit the pelvis down. Just like that. And then readjust the fit. So my feet or your feet should be in parallel position. Arms are forward, knees are bent. Take an in breath, go toward the sky. Exhale, let's take ourselves into a C curve. And then we roll back, moving from the pelvis, lower back, just printing down to the floor lightly, in breath and fall. Exhale, we bring our body up and over forward, honoring the C curve here. 
and then we lengthen the spine, come up right, excellent, and we exhale into the seeker. So I'm pulling my belly in, I'm drawing my spine up and over my thighs, then I roll back, moving my pelvis from the hip joint, and I get my sacrum down and lower back down, just lightly tighten to the floor, and exhale, lift up and over, into that C curve, position over your pelvis, and lifting the spine up. Again, one more, exhale, we round the spine, and we roll back, roll back, roll back, just lightly touching the floor in breath. Exhale, lift up and over, into the C curve, and we'll lift the spine up. Now straighten the leg, we're going to move on to our roll-ups, legs are together. If roll-up is too tricky for you today, you may continue with a bent knee position. So into the secret, so we start the reverse position, and then we send the pelvis back, get the sacrum down, get the lower spine down, chest lift position, then take your arms up and over. If the straight legs is not available for you today, go ahead and use the bent knee position. Take the arms up and into the chest lift. Then draw the center in, lift the spine onto your C curve, fold up and over forward. That hey, stay and in breath. Exhale, we roll back down again, sacrum down, lower spine down, onto that C curve. Then we float the head down, we lift the arms up and take the arms overhead. We inhale, the arms float first, the chest lift. We draw the downward deeper. We use that hip flexor to help us to come up into that C curve here. And again, inhale, we lift up a little bit more. And exhale, we roll down. Back, back, back. And arms up. And overhead. Inhale, arms up. Chest lift. And exhale, lift up. And over two. That C curve again. Brilliant. Stay in breath. Exhale. Let's go ahead and roll back down again. Just arrive in the chest lift position here. Go ahead and bend the knees. Bring one foot in. Second foot in. Keep feet up parallel. Arms long by the side. And rest your head down. Ready for the pelvic curl. Take an in breath. Exhale. We're going to deep abdominal curl and bring the lower spine. And then use the hamstring to peel the spine off the floor. Use the abdominal to make sure that you don't have to extend the lower spine. Inhale to the top. Exhale, we roll down from the top, the middle back, the lumbar spine, the sacrum, and the pelvis. And again, in breath. Exhale, abdominal, you print the lower spine, curl the pelvis, press the feet, lift the hamstrings up. And finish up by pressing your arms down so you can lift the chest a little high, but control the abdominal. In breath. Exhale, we roll down. Upper back, middle back, lower back, sacrum, and the pelvis. Again, in breath. Exhale, we roll up again. Pressing the arms firmly to the floor. Use the hamstring, use the abdominal, and finish up the pelvis. Highest level with the glutes. Use the inner thighs so you don't splat the knees out to the side. In breath. Exhale, and roll down, roll down, roll down, and roll us back to start position. Last one at the top. Exhale, we roll up again. Up, up, and we stay. Hold. Dorsiflex your feet, meaning your toes and up. The heels stay down. And lower the feet down. Lift the heels up. Plantar flex the feet. Heels are up. Press the toes down. And lower the feet down. And dorsiflex. Feet, toes are up. Heels stay down. That's it, everybody. And lower the feet down. Then heels are up. And we skip the heels up there. Can we lift the pelvis a little higher? That's it. Hold that. Float your arms up, do not drift away. Float your arms up, take your arms overhead. Then, bring your arms back again. As you breathe that down to the feet side. Inhale, 
we're not drifting away. Just lift the arms, open it. That's it, everybody. Exhale. Work this hand and bring the arms down to the feet side. Two more. Inhale, lift the pelvis, float the arms, arms overhead, and arms up. Bring it down to the feet side. Again, last one. Inhale, I know the hand shakes up. Smiling at the moment. And exhale, lift the pelvis up, bring the arms down. Um, let's do one more time, arms overhead. I want to finish overhead. Here, step. Lower the heels down. Ooh, hands you can relax now. Then exhale, roll the spine back. Yes, I know, they are crying. <laughs> right, bend your elbows into a diamond arm position, overhead. Float the leg up, tabletop one, tabletop two. Squeezing the thighs in. Now let's go spine to supine towards me as we inhale. We rotate from the waistline, press those arms overhead. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale over to you. Rotate from the waist. Exhale, come back. Again. Inhale. Over towards me. You can also bring arms to a T position if the diamond arm is too challenging today. Bring yourself back to center. Inhale over to you. Make it nice and neat here, guys. Exhale, come back. See if you can have the knees at 90 degree angles. So some of you have the legs a little bit too high. Bring it down just a tad. Ah, beautiful. Again, over to me. Inhale. Exhale, press the shoulders down, engage your upper abdominal, and to your in breath. Exhale, bring it back. One more each side, please. Inhale to me. Exhale, come back to center. Last one to you. Breathe in, everybody. Exhale, come back to center. Lower the foot down one and two. Have your feet hip width apart. Interlace the hands behind your head. Ready for our chest lift. The elbows are floating off the floor. But as we exhale, we'll lift the chest up and forward. Measure you carry the weight of your head here. Inhale, can we float a little higher? Exhale, we come down. Again. Exhale, we we'll lift. We flex up from the lower rib cage. We lift the chest. Look forward in front of you. Inhale, just move your foot up a little higher. Exhale, we come down. Inhale, we lengthen the spine. Exhale, we flex up again. Inhale, we lift up a little higher. Exhale, we come back down. Again, two more. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, we lengthen up. Exhale, we go down. Inhale, grow taller. Exhale, we lift again. Now we stand here in the in breath. Take the right leg off the tabletop as we breathe out. Inhale, lower. It's a single leg lift. Two. Inhale, lower. And three. You can wash your pelvis. Make sure your pelvis stays constant in that neutral position as you lift the leg and lower the leg. One more, and lower, keep it up on the chest lift and switch leg, and left, out, and lower, and two, and lower. Can we lift a little higher, everybody? So we want to make sure that your neck is nice and easy in its position. And two more, one more. We stay, extend the arms in front of you, grab the thighs, bend the elbows, come up a little that's it. All right. Now soften the shoulders down, down. Hands behind. No, sorry. Hands in front of you. Next to each other. Rotate your body towards me for the chest lift rotation. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate and flex forward. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate and flex forward. Inhale, center. We want to rotate from the waistline here. Your shoulder width should be off the floor at all times. In breath, center and forward. In breath, center and forward. In breath, center and forward. Inhale, center. Rotate to me and stay. Interlace the hands behind your head. Stay. One leg up to single leg with one. And tap. Stay in a rotation. And tap. Three more. And tap. 
two more and tap one more stay up rotate the center and to you left leg up and down and a two and down and a three two more four last one five stay come back to center grab the back of your thigh come up a little higher guys relax the shoulders shake your head a little bit now transfer your arms behind your head again and come on down good morning evening afternoon for you extend your arms overhead legs up one legs up two squeeze the thighs ready for the hundreds everybody here we go choose the height of the legs that's appropriate for you today take your arms up and curl forward maybe you want to go you maybe you want to stay in tabletop maybe you want to go straight up to the sky maybe you want to go diagonal you choose all right let's go exhale we go up two three four five and in breath three four five and two Can we lift a little higher on the inhale and exhale deepen up the abdominal and inhale lift up higher and exhale deepen up abdominal and and four or more and three and two Hang on there, last. Hold, drag the knees in, drag the knees in, the chest comes up a little bit more. Grab the chin bone just above the ankle. Can you come up a little higher above the ankle? Lift the chest a little higher, drop the feet, curl the pelvis, and rock up. There. Oh, okay. yes, we got it, we got it, we got it. That's it, everybody. All right, open the knees, lift the back. Now we can breathe and stretch the abdominal muscle. Well done. Ah, all right. Rolling like a ball. Let's go. So you hold on to above the ankles, float the feet round the spine, and find that beautiful balance. Okay? You have to work those arms and lock the legs in the position. Shall we? Inhale, we roll back. Exhale, we balance. Inhale, back. Exhale, and three more back. Exhale, look to your belly. So we're really gonna keep that run back position. Two, and up. One, and back. Lower the feet. Yes, everybody. And let's straighten the legs. Open the feet. Shoulder width apart, arms up forward. Right, ready for our spine stretch. Take an in breath. Exhale, we curl the spine down and bring the pelvis forward a little bit. Inhale, stretch a little bit further. Exhale, roll back up to an upright position. Now, can we have the spine a little longer, everybody? Yes, beautiful. And we exhale, we roll down forward. In breath, exhale, we roll up. Take our spine to a beautiful, nice, long, upright position. Again, exhale, we roll down. And we go forward and in breath. Exhale, we roll back up and we we'll lift the spine. We'll add some extension. We roll down again. Now here, we're gonna inhale, send. The sternum, the spine forward. Bring your spine in a beautiful diagonal position. Take your arms next to your ears. Gorgeous, everybody. And exhale, deep flexion. Bring the body down towards the floor and then roll back up to your start position. Let's go two more times. Exhale, we roll down. Forward. Inhale, we lift and lengthen the spine. So we're going to engage that upper back. Middle back, lower spine, take your arms next to your ears. And exhale, go ahead and roll down again. And I'm lifting up to the upright position. One more time. Exhale, we roll down. Fold. Inhale, we lengthen the spine. Keep the spine nice and long here. Gorgeous. And exhale, come down. 
and roll back up, lifting up the spine. Bring the legs together and turn your body face me for our side lift. So bottom arm is long, stack the legs together, place your hand in front of the chest. All right, got it. All right, float the knees up slightly. Okay, now from here, breathe out. We're going to imprint the lower spine to the floor as we lift both legs up the floor. Gorgeous, and lower, and just float the legs off the floor. Again, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Again, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And three more lifts. Beautiful, everybody. Lower. Two more lifts. And lower. Last one. Lift. We step. Hold. Take the arms up. Balance. Got it. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Place the hand back. Lower the legs. Help yourself up, swing your leg over to the other side. And let's do that again. All right, so placing the top hand in front of the chest, stack the legs together, arm in, long, arm in line with the legs, and we'll lift. And we'll lower. And we'll lift. Gorgeous. And we'll lower. And we'll lift. And lower. Two more. Lift. Give me a beautiful proud chest, everybody. So we don't want to round your back. Last one. Lift. Open up the chest. Stack. Take the top arm up. We balance gracefully. Isn't it, Carl? We gracefully balance. Stay there for five, four, three, two, one. Hand back. Lower the legs. Turn your body down for our back extension. So take your arms along by the side. Have your legs engaged behind you together or slightly apart. Arms along by the side. We go. Inhale. We'll lift the upper back, the middle back. The arms are still straight. Your neck is in good alignment with the rest of the spine. Exhale. We come down. Again. Inhale. We'll lift. Beautiful. Exhale. We come down. Okay. Three more. Inhale. Pack those arms engaged by the side of your body. So triceps are working. And exhale. Come down. Don't forget to pick up the belly. The abdominal is on. Inhale. We'll lift. So as you lift the spine, your belly protects the lower spine. And come back down. Last one. Inhale. We'll lift. Look, we step. Take your arms up to a T position. Rotate the arms, bring your thumbs up to the sky. Squeeze the shoulder blade and lift the arms up for five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Turn the arms, bring it back to the side of your thigh. Lower the chest. Bend the elbows, bring the forearm on the shoulder side. Push the floor away with the forearm, round the back. Send the pelvis back to your rest position. And then tuck the toes under. Lift the pelvis high for your upstretched position. Gorgeous, everybody. Now, really try to think about Mount Everest with the pelvis. Pressing the armpit down, sending the pelvis high. A little prancing with the feet. Lower, one heel down, keep the other knee bent. And lift. Change, lower, and lift, and lower, and lift, lower, and lift, lower, and lift. One more, each side, and lift, and, and lift. Lower the heels down, both of them, and just enjoy this stretch here. Deep inhalation, exhalation, as you hug the abdominal. Inhale, can we grow a little bit more in the spinal column? Exhale, groin that centrally. Walk your legs towards your feet. No, walk your legs towards your hand. Oh gosh. Feet forward. Two, three. And then from here, bend the knees, sit back down to the floor, hands behind you. 
leg forward. All right, let's go. Arms forward. And we roll back again to a chest lift position. All right, bring one leg up. Second leg up. Hands on your knees. Use your arm, lift the chest a little higher. Double leg stretch, everybody. We go. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Two more. We're going to pick up our speed here. One more. We stay. Hands on the right knee, left leg extend. Hold. Lift the left leg up. And lower. And bring it up in breath. Exhale, lower. Keep the chest high. And then lower. One more. And then lower. Bring it back to the other side. Now bring it back to the same level. Bend down the knee. And extend the other leg. And bring it up. And lower. Inhale up. And lower. And three more. And lower. Two. And lower. One. And lower. Bring up the same height with the other leg. And continue. Single leg stretch. Change. And change. And change. And change. And three. And three. And two. And two. And one. And one. We go back and right knee bend. Stay. Hands behind your head. Crisscross over. So we'll take to the right side. We switch and we we'll rotate. We switch and we we'll rotate. I want you to keep the feet at the same height as you extend, as you bend the knee. And rotate. We'll and rotate. We'll keep the scalp low off the floor. Rotate from the waistline. And again. And two more sets. And. Last set here, come back, return back to center, lower one foot down, second leg down, lower the chest down, open your arms up to a T position, pack your feet a little bit wider and your pelvis, drop the knees to your right, head to the left, or your hip dropped. And bring it back to center and over to the other side. And back to center and over to the other side. And the last one, and. Now we're gonna add the leg swing. So we're gonna drop to the right, swing your left leg over if you have space. Otherwise, just drop the leg. That's it. Drop to the left, swing your right leg over. And back to center. Drop to the left, swing your left leg over. And center. And the leg, swing your right leg over. One more set. And swing. Allow the momentum to just move the legs and come back center with step. Walk your feet to a parallel position, arms long by the side, one leg up to tabletop, second leg up to tabletop. We are going to do our roll over. If this is too complicated for you, too challenging, you can do a pelvic curl or you can just do the leg movement. So we straighten the legs forward. We bring the legs up to the sky. Now you can choose to roll over with me, press the arms, curl the pelvis over, legs over your face. Flex the feet. Separate the leg, fall from the hip and lower the legs down. And we roll the spine back to the floor. Release the pelvis down, point your feet, bring the legs away and together. You can just choose to bring the leg up to the sky, you flex and hold that and continue. All right, now let's go roll over. Or you can just do a pelvic curl for me. We flex the feet, separate the leg, Lower the legs from the hip joint, and then keep the arms active, we roll the spine, keep the legs as close as possible towards the body. Point your feet, reach your leg away, hand together. Again, legs up to 90. Curl the pelvis, or you can just stay up there. Flex the feet, separate, lower the legs down, rolling back to the floor. Settle the pelvis down, point your feet, Lengthen the legs away and together, last one, we bring it up. We curl, 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 curl. We flex, we separate, we lower. Then we keep the arms active, we bring the legs as close as you can towards your body. And then we bring the pelvis down, we point your feet, bring the legs away and together. Bend the knees, lower one foot down. Second leg down, have them slightly apart, hip width distance apart. 
One pelvic curl for me, please. We curl up all the way up to that beautiful bridge position. Shoulder bridge prep, please. Anchor your left foot down, right leg up to tabletop. We lower down, we lift up, and down. We lift up with the pelvis nice and stable. We lift and inhale. Exhale, lift. Three more. Exhale, lift. Two more. Exhale, lift. One more. Exhale, lift. Stay. Extend. Shoulder bridge. Let's go. Exhale. Inhale, kick. Exhale. Inhale, kick. Exhale. Inhale, kick. Three more. Two. Last. We stay. We point. We bend the knee. We take the foot down. We establish the pelvis position. We bring the other leg up to the table top. Brilliant. Let's go down. From the hip joint, we tap. Exhale, up. We tap. Exhale, up. And down. Left. And three. And two. And one. We stay. Straighten up. Hold the pelvis up. We exhale to lower. Inhale, kick and flex. Down. Inhale, up. Exhale. Three more. Two. Last. And stay. We point. We bend. We lower. We lift the pelvis high. We roll the spine back to the floor. Yay! Extend the legs away. Straighten up. Legs together. Arms overhead. V roll up, everybody. Let's go. Arms up. Head lift, chest lift. Exhale, come on. In your chest, C curve, C curve, C curve. Gorgeous. All right, and lift the back up. Grab your ankle. Grab your ankles. Offer leg rocker. We're going to do a modified first. And if you're up for it, you can do the classic or traditional way with the straight legs. So your arms are straight, your legs are in a diamond position, your back muscle are engaged. Right, we lift up and then we round the spine, we roll to the shoulder, we come forward, we balance, we elevate the spine, we present our chest out. Okay, we round, we roll to the shoulder, we come forward, we we'll lift, arms are active, Again, we run and forward, exhale, we'll lift, one more, and we run and forward, we'll lift, we step. If you choose to go with me, go ahead and straighten those legs with me, please. Otherwise, you can keep the legs in a bent position. Make sure those arms are working. That's it. Let's go. We round the back. We allow the legs to lead you forward, then we put a break and lift our spine up. Again, gorgeous, let's go back. And then exhale, lengthen legs and lift. Yeah, and then come back. Yes, everybody, and exhale, we'll lift. Again, three more, inhale, back. And exhale, we'll lift. And two more, inhale, back. And exhale, we'll lift. Last one, and back. And forward. We'll lift, we bring those legs together. All right, we take our arms long, we bend the right knee, tap now, and we'll lift. We tap the other leg, and we'll lift. We tap the right foot, and we'll lift. We tap the left foot, and we'll lift. One more each side, the chest proud, everybody. Last one, we'll lift, we bend both knees, and take the hands behind you, we straighten the legs, and we go for our back support. You're good? Awesome. Yeah, let's go. Have your feet slightly apart, just slightly. Chest is open, arms are long, not half extended like my habit, shall we? We press up, we lift, and take it down. Again, we press up. Next line of the spine. We fall from the hip. We just barely touch the floor. And then we'll lift up again. Look. Thank you. And we're just barely touching the floor. And then we'll lift. That's it. And we'll lower. Two more, everybody. And we'll lift. And we'll lower. Last one. And we'll lift. And we'll lower. 
and rest the pelvis down, we'll lift our spine, half the feet apart, arms open to the side for our soul. Rotate to your right, to me. Move the arms, one forward, one back. Hinge forward. And as you come up, the back arm opens to the side, open the other arm, return back to center. And rotate, move the arms. And hinge forward, neck is long. As you bring the trunk up, the back arm opens to the side, open the arms and return to center. And rotate, and arm, and hinge forward. Back arm open to the side, open the arms and center. And we rotate, and arms, and hinge forward. Back arm open to the side, arm out and center. Last set. We rotate, arms, and hinge forward, and we we'll lift, open, and center. Last one, we rotate, anchor your pelvis down, everybody, and hinge forward, and arm to the side, open, and center, bring legs together, turn the palms up, your spine stays nice and long for our spine twist. To your right, double breath, inhale, center. Left, shh, shh. inhale, center, right, shh, shh. left, shh, shh. one more each side, shh, shh. last one, shh, shh. come back, sit nice and tall, take your arms up to the sky, can we stretch up, stretch long, stretch longer, and longer, and release your arms down, bring your body towards me, side kick everybody. All right, so if the triangle arm is too tricky for you, bring your forearm down, align your shoulder and the elbow. If you are for it, let's go to this face. All right, lift up the underneath obliques, everybody. Reach the top leg long, you got it. Flex the foot. Let's go, forward kick. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, long, tall, exhale. Make sure you grow longer to the back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Three more. Inhale. Two more. Inhale. Last one. And stay back. Forearm down. Extend the arm away. Reach out. Stay there for three. Two. One. And bring legs together. Swing over to the other side, everybody. Just like that. Beautiful, Yuka. <laughs> I want to say anything less from you. Here we go. Take the top leg up. Flex. Let's go. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. And. And. Two more. Last one, back, pull, forearms down, stretch the arm away, reach forward and back, lift the abdominal muscles, stay there for three, two, one, and take it back onto a front, diamond arm, not diamond, triangle arm position for our single leg kick, please. So your elbow can be slightly wider than your shoulder. Make sure you don't sink in the lower spine. Press down with the arms and lift up the abdominal. Engage the back muscle. Legs are together. Float the legs off the floor. I want to have a nice proud chest here, everybody. Neck is long. Look down to the floor. Let's go. Right leg bend. Left. Inhale. And. Exhale. Inhale. And. Inhale. And. Two more set. Last set. Extend both legs straight off the floor, everybody. Hold. Lower the chest. Take the arms forward. Float the arms. Right arm, left leg for the swimming. Left arm, right leg. Right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. And we go. We eat breath for five. And exhale, move from the shoulder and the hip joint. Keep the arms and the legs long. 
Inhale for five. Exhale for five. Leg is nice and long. For four more sets. Three. Two. One. We stay. Open the arms to a T position. Legs are together. Interlace your hand to the small of the back. Legs slightly higher. And turn your head towards me. Double leg kick, please. Let's go. Kick it one, two, three. Inhale, extend the legs and lift the chest. Arms off your pelvis. Head over to the other side and we kick. One, two, three. Inhale, reach the arms, reach the leg, float your chest. And for me, one, two, three. Inhale, reach long. Other way, exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, reach long. One more set, please. One, two, three. Inhale, reach long. Last one, one, two, three. Inhale, reach long. Stay for five, four, three, two, one, and we lower. Yeah, bend the elbows, push the floor with the forearm around the back, rest position, bottom down to the heels, and we stay. Exhale, one more. And tuck the toes under, lift the pelvis up again to the outstretched position, please. That's it. And we lower the feet down, the heels down. We stay for three, two, and one. We lift the heels up. Now we step the right foot on the outside of the right hand. This is in a mobility class. Outside the right hand. Take the right arm up, rotate the spine to the sky. Release the back knee and the foot and sit the pelvis down and you're in that little pretzel position. That's it. All right, and reverse back. Step to the lunge. Rotate the trunk. Bring the hand down. Step the foot back, up stretch. That's it. Left foot, outside left hand. Big lunge and gracefully open the chest, rotate the trunk. Make sure the back leg is active, everybody. Release the back knee, release the ankle, and sit down into that little pretzel position. That's it. You need to sit both pelvis down if you can. If you can, that's it. And then you reverse back. The left foot goes to with that lunge. Arm up, okay, hand back, and step back. A little complicated, let's go up stretch one more, set. And right foot, outside the right hand, and rotate the trunk, look. And now, release the back knee, ankle, and we'll sit. If you can, have both sitting one down to the floor, and keep the whole back straight. So I'm not lifting my bottom up, and let it sink down. And then take your right foot forward. Rotate the trunk, arms up to the sky. And head down, step back, up stretch. Yay! And then left foot, left hand, outside the left arm. And out, twist. All right, release the back knee, release the ankle, and sit down and keep the whole spine nice and tall. That's it, everybody, good. And then step back to that lunge position with the rotated trunk. Bring the hand down, step back, up stretch. That's it. And bring your spine to your front support position. 
So I want you to engage that lower abdominal, the upper back muscle. Beautiful. And then front support. Right knee comes in. And extend back. Left knee in. And extend back. Right knee in. And extend back. Left knee in. And extend back. One more each side. Extend. Left. Extend. Stay hold. Now, rotate your body to the right. Lift the right arm up. And we go into that little side plank. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. And bring the right arm down. And the other way. You take the left arm up. And onto that side plank. Beautiful. Stay. Five. Beautiful, everybody. Four. I'm watching you. It's gorgeous. Three, two, one. Arm down. Into the panther. Pelvis is back. And we're going to jump forward. The count of three. So we've got three, two, one. Jump up and between your hands. Sit down. Adjust the feet forward. Lift the back. Arm forward. Tease the prep. Shall we? The back is nice and beautiful and straight. We just want to lean back. The arm is parallel with the ground. And then I'm going to float both legs up. Imagine I have a plateau of my lunge on my legs. We're not going to drop that tray. Okay. Palms facing each other. We roll down. Abdominal working here to a point where you're about to lose it. We're going to hold on tight and then we're going to rebound back up again. Maybe right. And the left, the spine. Again, exhale as we go down. Deflection in the abdominal. We're not resting down. We're holding, holding in that curve. And then we're going to come back and we're going to keep that train. Hold that train. Again, we exhale. Deflection. Deflection and there's no turning back. We're going to come back up again as we in breath. And we're going to present our chest. We're going to lift our spine. That's it. Two more. And exhale. As we go down. And in breath. As we float up. One more. Exhale. As we go down. And we're going to float. In breath. Inhale. Inhale. Open the knees, hand underneath, one, two, guess what's coming everybody, the seal puppy. If this is too tricky for you, just go into rolling like a ball for me, alright? So we're going to do with the whole clock position, so we have arm under, elbow under, hand over. Got it, we're going to lock that position, beautiful, we're going to curl the spine, we're going to engage the inner thighs. So squeeze your arms and inner thighs at the same time. Push out with the arms. And we go. We roll back. We clap three times. One, two, three. We come forward. We balance. And we clap. One, two, three. And back. Clap. One, two, three. And forward. You can also just roll back and forward if you want to clap. That's fine. And back. Clap, clap, clap. And forward. Clap, clap, clap. Three more times. Clap, clap, clap. And forward. Clap, clap, clap. Two more times. Clap, 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 and forward. Clap, clap, clap. Last set. Clap, 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 and clap, clap, clap. Good job. And we lower the feet down. It's 4.50. I nailed the timing. <laughs> we lift the spine tall. All right. Let's keep your legs in a diamond position. Oh. Well done, everybody. That was something. All right. Let's keep the spine nice and tall. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Let's roll the spine down. And allow the gravity to take the weight of the body. You can just hold the arms with you. And in breath at the bottom. And exhale. And let's roll back up. Up. One more time. In breath. Exhale. As we roll down the spine, we're just going to let the spine does its own thing. In breath. Exhale. And 
one to sit nice and tall. We stay a moment in this position. Keep the spine nice and tall. Close your eyes. Listen to the internal music of your breath as we inhale and we exhale. Allow your breath to make your body feel a lot lighter, softening on the exhale, light on the inhale. Send yourself a little gratitude for turning up to this class. So well done, Eve. Thank you for being here with me. One more inhalation with me, please. And we exhale. And let's open our eyes. Thank you, everybody. Well done on completing this class, your star. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to love, look, and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six-day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong, and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six-day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow With Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.